He has dreamed about this his whole life. Oh, fuck. That is not good. Where are you going to put him? In the fucking lake there. George, that's a gopher turtle. They don't go in water. No? No, motherfucker. You're going to drown him. Uh, you know how these bitches love me? Because me and the boys ride Hondas like men. I was smoking cigarettes on patios. I was drinking. You have got to be kidding me. I did not do that shit again. Okay, I gotta stop. At least I didn't drive home last night. <laughs> That's my alternator used as a pillow, I guess. <laughs> oh, shit. And yeah, I don't have my boot. Let's see if old Tex drove me home. He usually got my back. Oh, there's Tex. You drove me home last night, huh, buddy? And you got my boot. Thank you, pal. You're listening to George Strait Christmas, apparently. Hey, get out of here. This is my tree. What are you doing? Hey. I've been nervous about a lot of things in my life. But only a second, Jen. I am nervous to even wipe that dust off. Let's see what happens. Nice and easy. Easy, big fella. Easy. Now tell me how this happened. You were snooping around somewhere you had no concern. And now you're hanging from the bottom of the car. That's what you get. Let's do your money. I did one little burnout, but then it started making, oh shit, it's making a mess on the ground. Is that a connecting rod? Oh, it didn't appreciate that burnout at all. Oops. Okay, Mr. Tricky Tricky, don't go too far. Cool car, man, but that's not Ferrari. Alright, look, guys, I'm no master mechanic. I don't claim to know everything. But there has got to be a better way to change the fuel filter because this shit seems like a lot of fucking work. So, out here in California, I saw this hot shot guy, right? Hot shot. A Ram 3500. And apparently the ice and transmissions are so known to go bad. Okay, check this out. You can see right there, ice in. He just carries his own. 
Like, are you really that desperate to own a uh, Ram over a Ford? That you just carry your own transmission anywhere you go? I'm gonna act like you didn't fucking do that because I'm really pissed off right now. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. Oh, you little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I show you how to rebuild motor. You get a piston, you just put it on there, and then, then you grab your cylinder, you put that on, and then you put head gasket, then you put on the head. Okay, time for camshaft. You put one here, and then you put one right here. Oh, I forgot chain tensioner. It's okay, we don't need it. And then you time it, you just put on the chain. Then you put on the valve cover. And then you put on the engine cover. And then make sure we have very clean oil filter. And then we put on a little kickstarter. Then we put a lot of oil on. Then the coolant. Fuel tank. Seat. Then we put on the benzene. Then we kick it. And that is how you rebuild a dirt bike. Just need some fucking WD-40, eh? Well, boys, we have uh, we have found the DD for tonight. I'll just uh, go on home now. Nice and tight. Redneck ingenuity at its finest, right here. It's the German way, the good and tight. <laughs> oh! I just got that over guard. I'll bend more you the money. I got a challenge for all diesel trucks, uh, you know, 99 to 2005 or earlier, is look at the miles on your dash. Okay. And walk over to this area here and do this. Personally, I just want to see somebody put their fist through a rocker panel. To all the people commenting on my videos saying, oh, it's just a V6, well, let me educate you real quick. One, two, three, four. Oh shit, it's a four cylinder. Fuck's going on? Not much. Not much? Put it in the fucking weeds, did you? For anybody who's ever doubted the guard pond, look at this motherfucker right here, buddy. Old Brad caught this son of a- OH FUCK! OW! Oh, OW! Oh. Now, I thought I was so stupid. It's an automatic on the dash. There's a fucking manual shifter in here. Kid says it will only go into gear when it's off. Well, there's your fucking problem. What the fuck is this shit? Alive, you see the tire tracks coming up to this ramp here. It's about 60 foot. 
she nailed the landing right in the back of this tractor trailer. Um, she's alive, so she's lucky. A 60 foot jump from here, right off the road, into the back of the tractor trailer, dead square nailed it. It's actually the front of the tractor trailer, so she's alive. Today we're working on a front cap and, um, oh, oh shit. <laughs> you got electrocuted! <laughs> For you, those of y'all that ask exactly how big is the turbo, well, this is a one gallon jug of windshield washer fluid you can buy at your local advanced auto. Just for size comparison, because I know some of y'all are going to pick at it, this is a can of gum out carbon joke cleaner. Yeah, you can fucking read. On with it now. This is the turbo outlet hole. We'll just, uh, goes to the intake on the motor. Now we're just going to slide this up in here, just like we did with your mom last night. And, uh, yeah, that's how fucking big it is. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck 12, that's 13, 14, 15! What's up, gorgeous? Okay, get her done, son. 460 bucks. <laughs> now get welding. Oh my god. On, <laughs> you see it, boys? I can't see shit. I ain't paying you. She's clever.